the serpent was more crafty than any other wild animal that the Lord had made. He said to the woman, Did God say, You shall not eat from any tree in the garden? The woman said to the serpent, We may eat of the fruit of the trees in the garden. But God said, You shall not eat of the fruit of the tree that is in the middle of the garden, nor shall you touch it, or you shall die. But the serpent said to the woman, You will not die, for God knows that when you eat of it your eyes will be open, and you will be like God, knowing good and evil. So when the woman saw that the tree was good for food, and that it was a delight to the eyes, and that the tree was to be desired to make one wise, she took of its fruit and ate. And she also gave some to her husband who was with her, and he ate. Then the eyes of both were opened, and they knew that they were naked. And they sewed fig leaves together and made loincloths for themselves. And they heard the sound of the Lord God walking in the garden at the time of the evening breeze. The man and his wife hid themselves from the presence of the Lord God among the trees of the garden. But the Lord God called to the man and said to him, Where are you? He said, I heard the sound of you in the garden, and I was afraid because I was naked, and I hid myself. He said, Who told you you were naked? Have you eaten from the tree which I commanded you not to eat? The man said, The woman whom you gave to be with me, she gave me fruit from the tree, and I ate. Then the Lord God said to the woman, What is this you have done? The woman said, The serpent tricked me, and I ate. The Lord said to the serpent, Because you have done this, cursed are you among all animals, and among all wild creatures, on your belly you shall go, and dust you shall eat all the days of your life. I will put enmity between you and woman, and between your offspring and hers, and he will strike your head, and you will strike his heel. To the woman he said, I will greatly increase your pangs in childbearing. In pain you shall bring forth children, that your desire shall be for your husband, and he shall rule over you. And to the man he said, because you listen to the voice of your wife and have eaten of the tree about which I commanded you, you shall not eat of it. Cursed is the ground because of you. In toil you shall eat of it all the days of your life. Thorns and thistles it shall bring forth for you. And you shall eat the plants of the field. By the sweat of your face you shall eat bread until you return to the ground. For of it you are taken. You are dust and to dust you shall return. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Let us pray for forgiveness for all the times when we have fallen from grace. Let us pray for compassion so that we can look kindly upon others when we see too clearly their failings. Holy God, holy and strong, holy immortal one, have mercy upon us. 